Okay, let's move along. Showing you, uh, continuing on with this as above, so below concept. This is Uncharted 3. This is the third series in a uh, series uh, by uh, a video game uh, called Uncharted. I happen to play these video games, and I just want you to understand that, you know, uh, video games and, and movies and whatnot, I don't play them or watch them uh, just by pure entertainment anymore. I'm, uh, but I was fascinated with this game because of the gameplay and, and all that. I'm not a gamer at all. That PlayStation can sit around for a while, but when uh, a game comes around like this, uh, it's enjoyable. But I'll tell you what, interestingly enough, this is now uh, R, this is actually was teen for teens, but this, even from the first one to the third one, one indoctrinated you into occult understanding and occult mysteries. And this particular one, the third one, was about this as above, so below concept. John D was a major factor and a player. Uh, in this and understanding who he is and this idea of as above so below. John D just happened to have this seven pointed star with the pentagram in the center and this is all in the video game you can see that and of course Aleister Crowley used his seven pointed star as well. You can see Aleister Crowley also uses the yin and yang sign and the down pointed pentagram as well as this articulated as above so below uh, uh, star. And uh, so John D. going back, this as above, so below concept is also ingrained even in the pyramid structures. You have three pyramids, and you have three be uh, stars in the belt of Osiris, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, this. In this case, it's Osiris. And uh, so you can understand now the the mimicking of Earth and heaven. And this is not just ancient stuff where, oh, civilizations don't do that. Uh, they didn't have an understanding sci uh, scientifically, therefore they're doing this. Believe me, all of this religion is still with us today uh, completely. And we, as the masses, are blinded to that as they were in the past. So they are externalizing their religion onto the masses. And I want you to understand that as we get into the second half of this, you'll understand what their uh, their goals are. So you can see alchemy, uh, the understanding of elements, uh, sun, moon, elements, and uh, water uh, as well. And this is in the video game showing you that this is John D. And you can see now that symbol. You can actually go through these sun and moon symbols and go through and end up uh, there, so it's the joining of symbols as well as you go through these puzzles in the game. Uh, this is as above, so, so below on album covers. Sacred geometry as well, skateboards, and continuing on, uh, as above, so below, and this is Jewish mysticism or Kabbalah, and you can see now this person has a light side and a dark side, a dark triangle, a light triangle, so these triangles up and down. Uh, up and down, uh, as above, so below, and dualism. And you can see here now the use of both these symbols in connection. Uh, here is the sign of the benediction. And it is originating, actually this is now, look, it's the peace sign. It's, so it's the two fingers apart. And in this case, uh, as was the uh, image of the uh, Il Cornudo, uh, you can see the reflection now looks like a goat with horns. So you can understand that. Now this originator of this um, uh, is the hand of power of Rome. And so there is a sculpture of the hand of power. And that hand of power, this of course used by priests, and you'll see that in this section. This is Constantine on a coin, the founder of the Roman Catholic Church. I believe Constantine's conversion was a false conversion and Rome was a false church to begin with. And so you can see the hand of Roman hand of power uh, in the priests, in the monks, and the popes, and the cardinals. And they even make Jesus do this as well. And Jesus did not do that. And I'm going to tell you that this is their depiction and their Jesus, and their Jesus is another Jesus that we are warned about as a believer. We're warned that uh, the Apostle Paul tells us and very uh, deliberately tells us there is other Jesuses and false Christs that will arise, and this is what that is. Uh, Lady Gaga as well, now with the sign of the benediction. You can see that again, and Jack Black, as above, so below. When you see it in this context and the use of the two fingers, you know that the dual symbolism is being used. This is Daryl Hall. Uh, 
I took this photograph at um, 7-Eleven. You can see here Conan with the two fingers. Now this is also an allegiance to Rome. So you can understand that is a Baphomet symbol, sign of the benediction, and Roman. Now you see this triple symbolism, uh, Roman allegiance, Baphomet, as well as hiding the eye. And you can understand now and begin to understand that Roman Catholicism has nothing to do with Christianity. It is a veil, thick veil of Christianity. Actually, if you really think about it, it's a very thin veil of Christianity. Looks like uh, maybe Christianity, but in fact far from it. And you can see these artists here, or these puppets here, doing their thing. Now, sometimes I was led to believe that, oh, yeah, this is some kind of a hand sign. And for the masses, we just go, okay, yeah, yeah, yo, yo, whatever, uh, and use, the, use these hand signs. And I know that sounds uh, cheesy, but that's the way it is. We imitate these people, and these people at the top level are indoctrinating you. Okay, so we have this. You can see the dancers doing this, Miley Cyrus. This is 2012 Grammy Awards. Now we have the Mickey symbolism here. You see the sign of the benediction. And not only the Mickey, but you have the skull and crossbones. They have multiple symbols that we're going to cover in the second part of this, or a little bit later in this, this, uh, uh, this presentation. Ozzy Osbourne, you can see now using the two fingers. This is V. Um, that is that that uh, series TV series about aliens coming and so now she uses this sign of the benediction that's pretty sick if you ask me aliens now coming out and using this religious uh, symbol and this religious symbol is literally Luciferian or satanic now another method you can see here black eyed peas they do everything they all do everything you can see here now she sh looks like she's shooting herself, but I can assure you that that is another variant just to throw you off uh, that they're doing uh, this two-finger sign of the benediction. Of course she does that, and then she does this vulgar obscene hand sign. She's shooting at you with the two fingers. Uh, when you see it in context of everything that she does, then you understand why she does it. This is the Snoop Doggy Dog album cover, and you can see sign of the benediction. And of course, that sign of the benediction with all of these. And it's not being against a religious. It's, they're all the same thing. Malice in Wonderland, and now you're going to understand, uh, may, maybe I should briefly cover it, Monarch Programming and Alice in Wonderland is a reference to mind control and programming. That whole thing is about uh, fantasy and multiple generating multiple personalities in this world and then... Uh, uh, there's a reference to Wonderland uh, throughout, and uh, anyway, I know it's probably hard for you to understand yet, but let's go through this. Continue. Here we have the two-finger symbolism with a single eye symbolism, Eye of Lucifer, Mad Magazine. Now, tarot cards, the Hierophant. Look how similar the Hierophant is as a tarot card to the Pope. You can see here in this image, absolutely similar. And you can see the two keys, or the papal keys, used in Rome. And you here see here the triple cross. Uh, apparently that triple cross is heaven, earth, and hell in the same uh, symbology. And you see the sign of the benediction. And the triple tiara, uh, same thing. Heaven, earth, the god of heaven, earth, and hell. So uh, you have all of this. Look how similar it is to Rome and the Pope in the tarot card. This is Alistair Crowley's tarot card and you see uh, uh, he wanted his name actually pronounced Crowley instead of Crowley because he wanted to rhyme with holy and I don't want to do that I'll call him uh, Crowley um, uh, in this case I just uh, I don't want to give them any credit at all but his tarot card this is uh, the Triketra which is the similar meaning in the triple cross the tri Triketra and then you have man or a baby, in this case an infant, in the up-pointing star. And you have this elongated down-pointing star representing the fallen angel. You also have biblical references to animals uh, in the book of Revelation. And the, again, this is counterfeitism. Uh, and then you have the 
sign of the benediction. It also is peculiar to note that this is uh, also the oath of the Roman soldier. Roman, I mean, uh, Hitler was a Roman Catholic, and therefore he indoctrinated his soldiers in the Roman Catholic Catholic way, and therefore the oath of the Roman soldier is the sign of the benediction. I swear by God, and believe me, the God that they're swearing by is not the God that I serve. So we can see here uh, the Nazis doing the sign of the benediction. All of them, my goodness. Here we have a neo-Nazi. Now this is key because he understands that this Nazi uh, arm salute is actually the Roman salute as well as the sign of the benediction which is a Roman benediction as well. He understands that uh, and so this neo-Nazi, he's educated. I have to give him credit for that. But he's on the wrong side. Uh, the Pope's army, uh, this is the Swiss Guard. 500 years of the Papal Swiss Guard. These guys were, were very good at what they did. Now they've really been relegated to uh, uh, being uh, more uh, of a uh, fashion or, or what is it, uh, uh, ceremonial. And so we have uh, on coins, and you see the sign of the benediction. This is a three-finger method. Um, but there are also two finger methods. You can see that they just hold the, the finger close, but he actually, uh, these guys actually hold it uh, outward. And so, but it is the same sign. And then now we have finally, this is uh, Napoleon who installed himself as emperor. Sometimes you see in history where Napoleon goes against the Pope. These are, uh, to me, uh, in history, as far as revisionist history, meant to be diversions, um, to show opposition against something. Uh, and so uh, all of this stuff is, to me, done in concert and uniform uh, throughout history to show you that there are opposing forces when, in fact, they're actually the same force. So he's actually installed himself as emperor, and he has the Roman uh, sign of the benediction here uh, in allegiance to that system uh, and that religious system. And, of course, the laurel leaves uh, being Caesar and all of that. And this is a five-pointed Maltese-style cross. I've come to find out that it is called the Order of the Phoenix. I can't confirm that, but it is a five-pointed star uh, and, and a special Maltese cross.